Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use the conditional command in Stata. Now in order to do so let's start by loading a data set and we'll use the auto data set for this purpose. It's, it's preloaded in Stata and as you can see it's a data set consisting of all, all kinds of information about cars. And I'm going to use an example that might not make a lot of real-world sense, but it's, it's, it's a kind of a fun illustration of what you can do. And the possibilities of the conditional command are only limited by, um, you know, what's in your data set and what's guiding your analysis. So here I, I'm, I'm kind of noticing something that the weights of these cars in pounds are not too far off from the prices in a way. Now in every case it seems to be the weight is less than the price, uh, but maybe not. And let's say that I want to go ahead and actually generate a new variable. And I'm going to go ahead and call that pWeight. And here's where the conditional command comes in, and it's C-O-N-D for conditional. And within the parentheses here, I can go ahead and specify the conditions that I'm specifically interested in. And let's say that I want to identify all cars for which the price to weight ratio is greater than 2. So for example, if a car's weight is 2,000 pounds, and let's say the price is $5,000, it would satisfy this condition. So that's the condition itself, what I'm highlighting over here. After the comma, these values of 1 and 2 are just identifying um, what happens in these two instances. Because my condition here has this arrow, there's only two things that can happen. A, a car could... Uh, uh, live up to it or not live up to the condition. And there could be ties, but actually I'm going to accommodate that in my code. So first of all, let's go ahead and generate that variable and I want to show it to you. It's P weight. So right now it doesn't make a lot of sense because it's just these ones and twos. We want to give it some uh, real world meaning here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually create some labels here that'll help. And here I've gone ahead and just called, uh, I've defined this um, uh, outcome here as this result. And for every case of one, it's going to be that price is in fact greater than twice the weight. And if the result is two, its price is either less than or equal to double the weight. And then I've gone ahead and labeled our existing uh, variable of P weight with the result uh, syntax that I just defined. So now we go here and we see that P weight has taken on some new labels here. We see that there are some cars for which the price is uh, greater than twice the weight. For example, here in 9, let's scroll all the way to the end. And we'll see that the price is substantially greater than twice the weight of the car. Um, one thing that we'll want to do here is, uh, you know, just use some tabulation features. And I've, I've gone ahead and just created a list here where I want to look at P weight. And I want to look at it next to the make of the cars and in a table format. So that's what this code is. And when we go through here, let's just finish clicking through, we'll see that for all 74 cars here, we actually have figured out if uh, if if uh, if this relationship is true, if, if price is greater than uh, double the weight. So it seems that it's true for the Buick Riviera, the Cadillac DeVille, and so forth. It looks like the Cadillac Buick families of cars have the uh, have the franchise on that particular uh, result. So that's you know that's that's just an imaginative example of what you can do with conditional with the COND command. Again, um, you can just you can do anything you want really with with that command. It depends on any condition that you want to create in the data. And generating a new variable is just one way you know that you that you can use that command. But it's it's pretty useful. Um, if there are relationships within the data that you would like to represent as new variables and then maybe subject to further analysis. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, 
uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.